What else? All right, 85 yards up there. Let's see if I can hit that. And you can. Man, I'm telling you, this thing is smooth. I oh, perfect. Holds open on the last one. <laughs> Manageable recoil. It's just not a millimeter. Hey, everybody. It's Raw Hog here. Thanks for stopping by today. Palmetto State Armory AKV. 9 millimeter. These PCC's pistol caliber carbines are a blast to shoot and this one is no exception. So we're going to be running through the paces. We're going to talk about it from the front to the back. A couple things we need to get out of the way. Um, Palmetto sent us this to check out and we loved it so much we ended up keeping it. Uh, something we'll talk at the end of the video. Had just a handful of failure fires on these when they would load one up off the magazine. Just a few times, but it happened enough times with, you know, a handful of times. I mean, four or five times maybe. Um, enough to mention. So we'll talk about that and show you the ammo at the end um, and go over all those choices. Um, so other than that, let's get to this thing. Nine millimeter. Let's do this. cool stuff so the palmetto state army this thing was there it's they're trying to model it after the vit yes the russian uh sn submachine gun and forgive me I, I don't know a lot about this just reading off the site and what little i know if you got any comments or anything of course comment below any questions we'll try to figure it out before we get started on this but um you know with some modern improvements it's a direct blowback uh, there's a lot of other things on this uh, but we'll start from the top work our way back because i have the folding brace but we'll get to that at the front has a two port tanker style. Push that button, you twist this off. I'm not gonna do it all the way, but um, that comes off. And then, you know, so you can expose the threads. The threads are half by 28, I believe is what it is. Very common for these type uh, of, you know, muzzle devices and suppressors. It'll fit all those. So with this right here, I, you know, I don't know how much it does. I mean, the nine millimeter, this is a, it has a little bit of weight to it, so the recoil is manageable. It is a little snappy with the direct blowback, but these ports, I mean, I guess they help a little bit. Uh, but anyway, so there's that. Then you have your 10.5 inch barrel. Um, it is 4150 steel nitride. And so, so there's one thing about Palmetto, they are you know American made, they're not doing it cheap. American made AKs, uh, lifetime warranty, and uh, you know, they're doing things right. So if you want to come in here and take a look at the hand guard, um, you have your M lock here. This is their M lock Pic Picatinny right here. You have the Picatinny real estate that goes all over the place. Um, so you see your M lock there on the bottom and the other side. So we have a little sling attachment right here. Now this is rated for plus P. So, you know, with suppressors and plus P, it handles it fine, chews through everything. So that's something to think about. So it's it's built to, to handle just about anything. Um, if you can look at the sights, I don't know if you can see the sights. Of course, we have a red dot on there, but if you can see these AK sights. Now, when this out of the box and everything else is just, so I'm kind of moving, wiggling here, but everything is just basically, st you know, you can't move it. So this right here, we had to out of the box when we got it. It was a little bit off, um, which is no big deal. Some people have luck with it. We had to just adjust a little bit and it was, it was perfectly fine. But with this Picatinny real estate here, we want to just go with a, a red dot on top. And just for, for that, this has a quick detach, you know, QD mount, whatever, uh, for the pick rail. So it, it raises up. You cannot co-witness. But there's several red dots out there that 
you can that are low profile where obviously you can co-witness and that's kind of what they're what they're doing but anything like this that sits up uh, to this degree definitely not going to be able to co-witness whatsoever okay so on this it holds back on the uh on the on the last round which is neat uh it has a forged trunnion and a bolt carrier so palmetto is not going cheap they're doing things right like i said i keep saying that but it, it's so true um they're making some pretty serious moves <laughs> with these American-made um, AKs. But here's your charging handle. It's just your typical charging handle. You know, uh, AK style come around this way. Um, one of these days, maybe they'll do an ambi. That would be kind of cool in the future. I mean, who knows? Uh, but there's that. Here you have your hinged dust cover. Now, uh, again, we showed you the sights, I believe, uh, the hinge dust cover. Everything's solid here, of course, like I think I said that too, but it's all mounted. You can mount no matter what to it, it's, it's going to be solid. Hinge dust cover pops up and shutting that. They wanted it sturdy so it, your optic would hold zero. So it ha we haven't had any issues, uh, but it's always good to check. But So if you want to look here, these magazines, we'll talk about those. It has the paddle, paddle release, very nice. It has a flared magwell, the banana mag. Uh, so we have, we'll show you those, but a little bit flared, it looks like. Goes right in, no problems whatsoever. What's cool is they do hold open on the last round. Um, I know I've said that, and of course, since we're here, safety, very nice, you know, safety, and it's easy to, to hit it uh, from, with your thumb there. So, and then on this side, we'll just show you right here with the, it has a, you know, the bolt release, so it comes down. Most AKs don't, so once you load it, you know, once you reload one, and you have to reach back over and do it again. Here, when you come in there and you put it in, boom, you can hit it like that. So, so that's that's a nice feature. I mean, they've really thought of a lot of things on this. Um, so, and then nine millimeter. If you this red dot here with Hall Sun, hopefully we can do a review on it. But the 510C, you know, we were taking shots at 100 yards. I don't know the effectiveness. You're, you might be pushing it then. I don't know. We were free handed or whatever you want to call it, just standing up shooting at 100. You know, and we'll show you some footage. We might do that any time here. Uh, take a little break, shoot some 100 yards and some 85 uh, yards and just standing up. Now, if you got a rest, something like that, you know. Let's see if we can hit this, about 100 yards. About 100. That's it. Now you can hit that at 100 yards with a little bit of practice. I mean, this is that's our first shots. A little bit of practice on that thing. There we go. All right, 85 yards up there. Let's see if I can hit that. And you can, man, I'm telling you, this thing is smooth. And, oh, perfect. Um, on the magazines, we will talk about those. I'll set this down. So your magazines are 35 rounds, which is which is very nice. Um, and they're not cheap either. They're made right. You have your, your steel, you know, metal feed lips in there that do really well. So they have a variety of colors, you know, black, you know, flat, dark earth, olive. And of course they have their banana mags. They have drum mags as well as the extendo mags uh, that are 50 round mags. So check them out. And these are $16.99. So that's a, that's a, pretty, that's a pretty good price. <laughs> I mean, $16.99 is a, a decent price for a magazine uh, that isn't cheaply made. On the magazines also that takes CZ Scorpion mags. So we don't have any, but um, you know, the people can show they work. So they'll accept those. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then one of the main things, one of the, the sweet deals on this is this trigger, the ALG trigger. Um, and they have done some tweaking to it, I'm telling you. So we measured it and it was under two pounds, just under two pounds. So I, I don't know if my mine's messing up, but I will show you this. I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll pull this. But like I said, I mean, just a little bit of take up and I mean, it just, it just goes. So reset and then just a little take i mean i i'm telling you this thing shoots so fast it's it's fun to shoot it shoots fast and that trigger 
and we measured it, it was under two pounds. So I, I don't know, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. But of course, these come with, there's many options in these and you're looking at about 950 up to, you know, 1100 and the prices vary a little bit. Um, this one's about $1,100 um, because it has the ALG tricker. You can get them a little cheaper. Um, you know, this one's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome, but they have like different wood, different uh, pistol braces, because this is a pistol, of course. This one is the folding, you know, it folds up, locks. It can be shot, from my understanding, when, it, when it's closed, and then it opens up. Uh, but they have different wood. They have, the, we've got the Magpul grip on this one, uh, different, uh, stock, all Magpul uh, furniture. They have the different braces. There's a lot of options. So definitely check them out, which reminds me, you know, well, uh, YouTube's kind of doing its thing. So follow us on X, formerly known as Twitter, and we can post some links and stuff like that. But, but definitely uh, check these guys out. Uh, extended, you're looking at about 27 inches is what it's saying here, and then folded about 19. So just in case you need those measurements. I did forget to mention your, your the brace attaches right here. If you can see in there, it comes on the back grips on it like that and you can take it off and put other things on it if you would like but but that's how it works there just goes on there now as far as the malfunctions bag release slide release let's see if these do any more damage oh we've been having that issue can pop this in the head here that is one thing about this Good. This is the ammo we were using, 115 grain Blazer Brass, 124 Monarch, and then we did the Sierra Hollow Points. So there may have been some ammo issues in the hundreds of rounds that we shot, but um, it did it with every one, just, you know, once or twice. I think we had five total. So if you can see here, we had these, which that might be the ammo where it, it went in and it just like smashed the, the actual bullet into, uh, into the cartridge. But... This now is sitting flush, but this was one that did it. And as you can see here, I mean, you can see that smear there on the, on the rim. So when it was loading up, it did that. And for some reason it wouldn't fire. So anyway, the case cage out and try to find some, of course it's fitting now. We've done enough. Here's another one. It's supposed to fit flush in there and fall right in there. So we didn't really have any issues, but these, you know, we had, we reshot them of course. So I don't I don't know what the deal was. Don't, don't know. So. Um, we're going to reach out to them, just talk to them a little bit. But as you can see, like well, coming off the magazine, for some reason, it just put a little, a little scuff on it and it wouldn't fire. So ammo's fault possibly, but out of several hundred rounds, you know, it was four or five. We have five here, but there was a couple of those. So anyways, to keep running a little about that. But other than that, I mean, this thing just chewed it apart. I mean, it just... <laughs> It was just, uh, you'll see, you saw there, it just was just running through magazines like crazy. But every so often, you know, it, it would do something like that when it was picking it up. Now, when you charged it, you know, when you charged it and let it go, never had an issue. So, anyways, other than that, would we recommend this? Absolutely. These things are, man, these things are awesome. Fun to shoot and can be used in a, you know, defensive situation. So, uh, definitely check them out. We'll leave some, we'll try to leave some links below to our X account. Go check it out over there. Um, any comments, anything we missed or something you're curious about, let us know. Of course, we'll be throwing out some shorts as well. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. But until next time, you know how you like our reviews? You like them raw. Let's go train.